the sixth night of America's Got Talent had the judges and viewers reaching out for a tissue. With several performances delivered that night, the 37-year-old Siobhan Studart managed to astonish the four judges with her original, Through the Good and the Bad. With the song dedicated to her husband, Jamie Nieto, Siobhan surely did teach the viewers that hardest races are the best ones. The two-time Olympic runner has had several ups and downs in her life. Here are some interesting facts that you probably didn't know about Siobhan Nieto. But before getting to the list, please subscribe to our channel and be a part of our family by ringing the bell. She is a two-time Olympic runner. Before singing her original, Siobhan shared with the judges that she is a two-time Olympic runner. After discovering her speed in high school, she decided to try her luck in sports. At the age of 22, she represented Jamaica in the 400-meter hurdles at the 2004 Olympics, which took place in Greece. Following that, in 2008, she was back on the track for the Olympics in Beijing, China. Her husband is a former Olympic high jumper. Siobhan met her husband Jamie Nieto in 2010 when auditioning for the same TV commercial. Like his wife, Jamie was also a two-time Olympic high jumper. In 2004, he cleared the 7 feet 8 inches hurdle and came fourth in the Olympics. The couple began dating in 2013 and tied the knot in 2017. Jamie is partially paralyzed. In 2016, while Siobhan was busy practicing for her upcoming events, she got a phone call saying that Jamie had been in an accident. The 40-year-old Jamie had been showing some of his backflip expertise to some jumpers in LA. After his first attempt not going as good as he wanted it to, he asked for a second try. Unfortunately, this time he slipped on the artificial turf and landed on his back straight instead of a somersault. He was flown to a hospital and had surgery to fuse a disc on his neck. He spent 12 days in intensive care and two months in a rehab facility. Jamie walked on his wedding day. Being partially paralyzed did not stop Jamie from doing something monumental on his wedding day. He challenged himself and entered the church using a walker. With the help of Asher and Bishop Donnie McGriff, he walked down the aisle. The couple got married at the Greater Christ Temple Apostolic Church on July 22, 2017. She began singing after the incident. Siobhan quit running after her husband, Jamie, had the accident in 2016. She was preparing for her third Olympic game during the time. After watching Jamie lying in the hospital bed, Siobhan decided to retire from the games. During those difficult times, she found comfort in music and began writing songs and singing them. Her husband pushed her to audition for AGT. To motivate Jamie, Siobhan began writing songs dedicated to him. Jamie soon realized that his wife had a different passion besides running. He then asked Siobhan to try for AGT, thinking it could be her new gold medal. During the audition round, Siobhan sang her original, Through the Good and the Bad. She has also been selling this song for collecting donations for Jamie's recovery. AGT invited her for auditions. After hiring a producer, Siobhan released her song Through the Good and the Bad on November 2, 2019. The music video shows the dedication and love that Siobhan and Jamie share. Two months later, Siobhan received an email from the AGT producers to compete in the 15th season of the talent show. The couple is expecting. Siobhan and her husband are expecting a child. The couple made the announcement following Siobhan's outstanding performance. After the performance, Siobhan posted a video on her Instagram account with the caption, Mommy wore blue on AGT for you, AGT family. The unborn child is expected to be a boy. Do you think Siobhan has what it takes to become the next America's Got Talent? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.